Happy Friday! So this week I've been talking about the five reasons and what I believe are the only reasons that you should return to the office. I talked about preference. If you think it's worth the commute and it's your preference to work out of the office, then do so. If it helps establish a sense of purpose for the team and it's the, what the team and the leader decide, that it's worth the commute to go into the office because the outcomes will be better, then do it. If it helps with participation, networking, collaboration, deep dive, ideation, innovation, whatever it might be, and it makes sense, then do it. And if it increases the productivity of the team by being co-located in the office for some particular activity, and the team agreed that it would be far more productive, to do it co-located in the office, then do it. And the fifth of our five reasons is to party. You cannot, I believe, replicate an in-person physical celebration virtually. Maybe with the metaverse, we'll get a bit nearer to it. But at the moment, I think if you really want to celebrate and celebrate achievements, and successes, and I'm not talking about the big, you know, multi-million dollar project. I'm talking about small achievements of taking the team forward towards a particular goal. It could be individual achievements, team achievements. And remember, it's not just about celebrating successes. What about the setbacks? They were learning opportunities. So celebrate what we learned from that and bounce forward, not just bounce back. And celebration's all about recognising people, showing gratitude for the contribution and the effort. And it's, it's a bonding um, activity. It's energising and motivating. It's that hurrah moment as the team together say, you know, we did good. Let's do more of the same. Preference, purpose, participation, productivity and party. Is it worth the commute? Talk to you next week. Stay safe.